hi guys welcome back to our channel glancet so in my previous video of nlp i have discussed about what is phrase structure graph and in this video i am going to discuss about what is dependency graph so before getting started with this video i would like to say you one thing that if you are watching this video for the first time then please do subscribe to our channel and if you are already a subscriber then please do watch the whole video and hit the like button so let's get started so representation of syntactic structure i have already discussed that uh, we will be constructing this particular syntactic structure by using tree banks where in order to construct a tree bank we will be using two different approaches so one is phrase structure graph and the other is dependency graph so uh, in my previous video i have already discussed what is phrase structure graph and in this video i am going to discuss about the dependency graph so who introduced this particular dependency graph is lucian tesnier okay so in a dependency graph words in a sentence are represented as notes and the syntactic relationship between these words are represented as directed edges so i will underline this directed edges see when you take this phrase structure graph i have already said that a phrase represent a phrase is represented as notes but when it comes to dependency graph a word is represented as node here okay so this is the common this is the main difference between these two things and also there is another difference that is so what what are edges represent what does it just represent in this dependency graph it is nothing but the relationship between two different words by using only directed edges so in when when you take phrase structure graph so we, we in order to construct the relationship between two phrases we took the undirected edge this is the undirected edge but when it comes to dependency graph you are i mean you are constructing this relationship by using the directed edges these are nothing but the directed edges so why we are using this directed edges to to know which node is the head node and which node is the child node so the edge which is coming out from that particular node is considered as the head node and uh, to which node this particular edge is i mean pointing to is nothing but the child node this is the child node okay so the next point each edge in the dependency graph indicates a dependency relationship between a governor word that is nothing but the head node and a dependent word that is nothing but the child node so in dependency graph i said that uh, this uh, particular edge tells the relationship between the two words that is the head word and the child word okay so dependency graphs typically rooted at a single node representing the main verb of the sentence see when it comes to the phrase structure graph what we took as the root root word that is we took s as the root root node here right but when it comes to dependency graph you are taking the main verb in the sentence as the root node and then followed by the other children okay so there are three differences between two, these two things so in phrase structure graph we will be representing nodes as a phrase right in but in dependency graph we are uh, i mean we are representing a node by using words okay and the second difference is in this we are using undirected edges and here you will be using the directed edges and the third difference is here sentence is taken as the root node i mean s is taken as the root node and in this dependency graph we are taking word may, i mean main verb as the root node so this is about the dependency graph so let's understand it with an example so i took the previous example only which we have used in the phrase structure graph the cat chased the mouse okay so list out what, what are all the nodes here i said that in dependency graph so you are considering each and every word as node right so da is considered as a node cat is considered as one node chase is considered as one node these considers one node and mouse is considered as one node so these are the nodes okay so how how you are actually constructing the dependency graph so first point is you have to identify the main verb so in order to construct this particular dependency graph you when whenever a sentence is given you have to identify 
verb verb in that particular sentence so you know to let get clarity i will be tagging it with parts of speech so da is nothing but determinant right so cat is nothing but noun it is an animal so it is noun chased is nothing but verb i mean action 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 is nothing but verb and da is nothing but determinant and mouse is nothing but noun okay so i tagged it with parts of speech so what is the main verb in this particular sentence chased so i said that in dependency graph this particular verb is take, taken as i mean you take it as the root node okay so what is the root node here chased is nothing but the root node and the second point identify the head nodes and the dependent nodes and and mark the syntactic relationship between these nodes using directed edges okay so this is the graph which you which you have to construct see i will explain you i will explain you don't worry so write the sentence first okay so this is the root node start with this root node only so this is the root node start with that root node only so um why i'm marking this arrow here is so chased by whom i mean which is chasing what so chased is dependent on two different words i mean who is chasing whom this particular cat is chasing mouse right so this particular chased is dependent on two words so i am giving the directed edge from chased to the cat and the same thing goes with the mouse i am giving the edge directed edge from chased to the mouse and this thing is over and there are the child node for this particular cat and the mouse okay so this mouse i mean uh, the meaning of this particular mouse will be more meaningful when we add the before it the same thing is with the cat when we add the it will become more meaningful right i mean this particular sentence become more meaningful so this particular da is dependent on this particular mouse only so we are directing an edge from mouse to da and the same thing goes with the cat this particular da is dependent on this particular cat so we are marking the directed edge from the cat to da so this is the dependency graph so uh, if if you want to create uh, from top to bottom so you can write it like this so first you have to mark it with verb, verb right so it is chased so chased is the root node here so what are the child nodes for this particular chased cat and mouse are nothing but the child nodes so you can write here cat and here you can take mouse as the child node so what what are the child nodes for this particular uh, cat and mouse those are nothing but sorry direct edges I, i i'm sorry you have to mark it with direct edges so for this particular cat the child node is da and this particular mouse the child node is da so this is the dependency graph either you can draw it like this or you can construct it in this way also so this is about the dependency graph and in the next video we will be discussing another topic so until then thank you so if you really like my video please do uh, like like this video and if you have any queries regarding this particular topic or any other topics please do comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thank you